So the first step towards getting my car back up and running again is uh, to address the weather stripping. So I've got one of the T-tops here. And as you can see, like I discussed before, the weather stripping was removed when it was repainted. Um, I went ahead and removed some of the screws, and I'm sorry for the noise in the background. But I went ahead and removed some of the screws that were on it. And then also to show you how to remove this. So these, this, the, 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 the headliner or the, yeah, the headliner, it's held on by these, these Velcro strips here. And then also a couple of screws that lock in. Now I removed the one that was there. Basically it broke to be honest with you. Um, so basically how that works is it hooks in here and then it's fastened right there so and then also on the other side um, this is I'm gonna have to repair this it, it, it hooks in and then it hooks on right here so that's just one more thing to the list to do um, so we'll get this out of the way I'll clean this up later and see if I can restore it back to a little bit better condition. Again, remember, I'm trying to do this on a budget. So I've got a, a furniture blanket here so it won't mar my finish on the T-top. So I've already, like I said, removed the, uh, the weather strip mounting section here, this, this bracket. And we'll clean that up and set it to the side. And then uh, and then I'll get this cleaned up. What I've got to do next is I've got to remove these little tabs. So, uh, got new weather stripping. This is from Corvette America. Now on the 70, I believe the 74 and the 75, I know on the 74, uh, there were some discussions on some Corvette forums about making sure that you get the correct weather stripping. Because apparently some of these have 18 of these tabs and some of them have 19. So you gotta make sure that you count and have the correct tabs. I do, I've already counted it and checked it. What I'm doing right now is I'm just test fitting everything and I probably got the wrong side, but I doubt it. Okay, here we go. So I'm basically just, just getting an idea of where this goes. and making sure that this is going to be okay. So, it looks right. I don't see any damage to the weather stripping or anything from the packaging. Uh, I got this from Corvette Central and I've used their weather stripping on my C4 and I was pretty pleased with it. So I went ahead and did it with these. Also, I got the complete kit that comes with the weather strip for the, um, the T-tops. It comes for the weather stripping for the A-pillar and also the rear window area. And then it also has the door weather stripping as well. Um, and we'll address those each as they come up. So that's where we're at. And like I said, I'm going to get started on this. I've, I'm, I'm going to remove these tabs carefully and, uh, clean this up. Um, 
what I'm going to use to clean this up is I'm just going to use sim simple cream. I'm not going to um, use any kind of harsh abrasive or anything like that, anything that's going to leave a residue. Uh, I just want to get this this weather stripping here, the 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 glue picked up and just clean around these edges and then clean all through here, address these screws and the mounting hardware. I might go ahead and take these assemblies off. These are your lockdowns for your T-tops and, and clean those up as well since they are visible. So there we are and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so what I'm doing here is like I said before, I'm removing these little clips the new ones are already on the weather stripping and when whoever when they were working on the t-top and they removed the weather stripping they didn't take these little these little pins out the way you get them out and i didn't show you all of them i've got these last two to go uh that'd be boring doing this whole thing like that but uh so i just got a little pair of pliers you know just a little square nose and like I said, I've got a furniture blanket here so it won't mar the surface of my paint on the T-top. But I'm also not just, you know, willy-nilly moving this thing around either. So I'm just gently getting pressure to hold this T-top still, get up under this, and just work it out. And it pops right out. So, um, again, we'll do it one more time. This is the last one. Just let it walk out. It'll walk out on its own. You don't have to put a whole lot of force on it. Um, and that's that. So the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of this hardware. Um, so that way I can clean this whole thing. You can see some dirt here, right? Um, I'm going to clean this whole thing up, clean these screw heads up, clean up the bright work on the latches and the locks. Um, and then... Once I've got that cleaned up, get everything ready to go, get it good and dry so we can start getting the weather stripping put on. Um, and I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other one that I just did to this one. So uh, we'll be back. So I don't know how far the little locking back plate would go into the t-top as you notice this is all sealed and i'm not too curious about finding out how to separate the inner from the outer shell without totally destroying it there might be a way i don't know but as i was removing this back plate and the uh, locking plate on the t-top so i could clean this up I was realizing that there's not that this is all back in here and if it was to drop it would be very difficult to get it out so just to work I mean it might not if someone has a, a solution or, or knows something more about this please comment uh, I'd appreciate it but anyway in my opinion I think it would be best that before you remove the last screw um, you put you can rotate all that out of the way put you one of your screws back on so at least you have a purchase on this and you can pull it back up and keep it where you can have access to the locking plate what i'm talking about is that piece inside the t-top now i'm gonna i'm gonna clean these up too but i'll just have to do it one at a time and that's no big deal so i've still got that one over there to go and then I've got that one. And then I've got to get this hardware off on both sides so that I could clean it up too. So that's just a thought. 